Imagine you already imported a floor plan, JPEG or AutoCAD DWG file, into the IP video system design tool and added walls, 3D models, and cameras. The next step is to plan our cable layout. Open to the Site Plan tab. We can temporarily hide camera zones and other unnecessary objects using the Layers window. Next, we can open the cable list to see a list of cables and their lengths. Now let's add a digital video recorder, DVR, using the Network Equipment button on the toolbar. Let's also add a server rack to a server room. We'll connect the camera to the DVR. For cable type, let's select Twisted Pair. All you have to do is plug one end of the cable into the cameras and plug the other end into the DVR. The program shows cable length in the Cable List table. We can choose Combined Cable for a camera that requires a power line. Let's connect other cameras. It's recommended that you not exceed 100 meters 328 feet, with a twisted pair cable. The program will mark any cables longer than 100 meters in yellow. We can choose fiber optics cable to connect network equipment, such as a server rack, to our DVR. In case you need to add a turning point to a cable segment, please right-click on the cable and select Add Bending, or just double-mouse click on the cable. To make sure the length of cable can accommodate the difference in height between the ceiling camera position and DVR, we can increase the length of cables by adding plus 20% or plus 15% in the cable list. You can add a list of cables into the PDF report file by adding a check mark next to the Add Cable table in the Project Export window and clicking OK. Now we have our cable list and a table with the total length for each cable type. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel.